Good morning, guys. We are live. Sorry, we're about two minutes late in starting. Just wait for you to all come on. There you are. Private messaging me. If you're private messaging me, please come on the page. Cool, there's six of us. Awesome. Okay, so as you come on, if you can just comment below. Um, just tell me your name and where you've joined on from. Be really, really awesome, please. And I will just wait here with Miss Flamingo. So just let me know where you're from while we wait for the others to come through. There should be about 40 of us joining today. Thank you. <laughs> Greens, Harvey and Annabelle from Greensboro. I think were you on last week? I think you were. Mia mm -hmm. and Kaden. Oh, we've got a friend. Cool. Is that your brother? I don't know his name. Cool. Hello from New Zealand, yay, homeland. Cute. If you're just jumping on, just comment below and say where you're from. We just welcome everyone in. From Melbourne, Sophine and Alina from Melbourne, Logan from Scoresby. I've never heard of that. Matt is six, Holly is nine, Josh is three. Oh, seven year old from New Zealand again. Another one, Sophia from New Zealand. Oh, there's all oh, these cool people. Alia is here. Alia is one of my students who comes to my classes. Oh, there's lots of you. Where are they? Uh, Jesse's here. Hey, Jesse. Cool, guys. Ada and Meat from Craigie Burn. Wow. All right. So let's make a start, shall we? Yeah, cool. Thank you for everyone's fun. Oh, Papa Mo the Beach in New Zealand. Be nice to be there right now. Cool, guys. Okay, we're going to make a sound. I'm just going to flick the comments. I'll come back in a minute. So, um, good morning, everyone. Thank you for joining us for our live class this morning. I'm really excited because we are going to be drawing and painting flamingos. And I've called it funky flamingos because we're going to jazz them up and make them look a little bit cool. So, we're going to learn today together. And I'm going to try and be a little bit slower than I was um, the other day. We're going to learn how to draw flamingos and then we're going to practice drawing some flowers and then we're going to put it together okay so um some of you emailed me for the drawing guides so if you've got those you will have a picture of a flamingo and you'll also have a picture of some flowers so um first of all if you don't if you haven't met me before my name is mrs parker and I run Bubbles Art Studio, which is an art studio here in Mickleham slash Craigie Boom in Melbourne. And we have been running for nearly two terms now. We have about six classes. So we have lots of kids come to our classes who are aged between six to, we've got some 15 year olds as well. So that's really, really cool. Um, so we're going to be doing these live classes today, tomorrow, Wednesday at 10 a.m. The reason we're doing them is because we are all at mm -hmm. home at the moment and which is great and we need some fun things to do and for me and for you guys doing fun things is art which is while you're here yeah. So let's get started kids. Now the first thing you're going to need is a bit of paper. So it doesn't matter what you have. If you've got a big piece of uh, white paper that's cool. If you have a book you can use a book if you've just got small bits of paper that's okay or even if you've got refill it doesn't matter what you have all right um so grab your white bit of paper i've got mine drawn up there and if you don't have a marker pen you can just use a pencil you could use um a pen if you have a pen at home or a texter or even a black um, crayon or a pastel so we're going to start by drawing the flamingo. Now, I'm going to show you how to put different shapes together to draw the flamingo. 
I'm going to use my marker pen, which means I can't rub out some of the lines, but I want to show you how to do it first so you understand. Okay, so let's get started. I'm actually just going to shimmy the camera in a little bit here so we can see. All right, so we've got our pens. We're all ready to start. I'm just going to check. Cool, we've got people from Sydney. Oh, Mendes here. Cool. All right. First thing you want to do for your flamingo is you want to draw a circle. So let's draw a small circle at the top of our page. I'll wait for you to draw your circle. And then we're going to draw an oval. And the oval is going to be for the body of the flamingo. I'm just going to move one picture over so you can see. Where are you? There you are. Cool. All right. It's a little bit better. Okay, so we're going to now do this bit down here. So let's draw an oval. It goes kind of like that. And don't worry at the moment if it's not perfect. So we have the head and we have the body. Now we've got to attach those two together. So let's come in. And let's do a nice long neck, which attaches to the body. And then another one that attaches to the top of the body there. Cool. All right, tell me if you've done that. So we've got a nice circle for your head. An oval for the body and then you want to attach the head to the body. Now we need to put a little beak on our flamingo here. So let's, you can do it whatever shape you want. I'm going to do a big beak like that and put a little circle there. Cool. And then they tend to have, we could colour this little tip on the bottom of their beak. They tend to have a little bit of a black bit on the end like that. Cool. So we have our head, our body. We've attached it. We've put a beak on. And the last thing we want to add is some legs. Now, flamingos have really, really long skinny legs. So what I want you to do is I want you to find the halfway spot under the body. And then I want you to go slightly to, excuse me, slightly to the left. And then I want you to draw down a big long line. And then one next to it. You can make your flamingo's legs as long or as short as you want to. Then we're going to draw the foot. So I'm going to just draw it big here to show you. Their feet, they've kind of got three bits on them. You think of that kind of shape for their foot. All right? Remember, we're just practicing flamingos at the moment. This is not going to be our good drawing. We're just practicing. So let's draw one, two, three for the feet. And now we're going to draw the flamingo standing on one leg. Okay, because they tend, that's why they're kind of funky slash um, funky flamingos, because they stand up like that. So let's then, uh, which way should we go? I'm going to pull, pull it across this way. Then I'm going to come back the other way. And then I'm just going to pop one, two, three. So it looks like the flamingo standing that way. How are we going so far? Are we getting it? Done, done. Excellent. Speedy Gonzalez. Yes. Okay. So that is the basic shape of the flamingo. I'm just going to move this back a bit. That's the basic shape of the flamingo that we're going to work with. There are other things that we can do. So let's have a look at this picture here. So to make them funky, 
we can add some more feathers like down the bottom here we can pop a little hat or some jewelry on top of the flamingo uh, we need to draw the eye on as well we need to do that and then I think it's cool if you have stripes that kind of make it look like the flamingo is wearing some really really cool colorful stockings on there okay so let's think of some cool things that we can do here so we can do some feathers so it might be we can do some shapes coming in like this we could do some down the bottom so the shape we're doing is just something like this we're still we're still practicing okay let's come down the bottom you could then pop a line in the feather and you can draw off some little feather lines that look like patterns that come off. We could do some small feathers. Okay, so how about just practice drawing some feathers? You don't have to do the whole thing. We're just practicing, okay? Uh, what else could you do? You could, obviously we want to add the eye. Now I don't, for those of you who haven't seen me, when we do eyes, I'm just going to do a big example here. You want to leave a little bit of white in your eye because that will make it look like the, like it's a little pupil. And so the eye looks more realistic. So if you were to do it, that's a big example there. So I'm going to draw a little eye. I'm going to draw a circle. And I'm just going to leave a white bit. Cool. We could add some eyelashes. And we could add some more feathers. And those are those ideas. So how are we going? Have we finished our flamingos yet? Tell me if you finished your flamingo. You don't need to do the whole thing if you just practice, if you've got the basic shape. And then we're going to practice drawing some flowers as well. Then we'll do a big one together. I'll just wait till I hear from you because it takes a bit. Natasha's done. Excellent. Anyone else done their practice flamingo? You can come back and pause the video later on if you want. Just want to make sure you've got the basic shape of the flamingo going. And practice some patterns. So I've got one person done. You must all be busy drawing. Let me know when you're done and then we're going to draw some flowers. Cool, shall I just move on I think? So, I'm assuming you've all done your flamingo. If you haven't, that's okay, it's just a practice. Let's now practice drawing some different floral shapes. I'm just going to put a new bit of paper up here. Now, if you got the drawing guides, if your mum or whatever emailed me, you would have got these in the email. Okay, so these are some different ways that we can draw some different flower shapes. They are not the only way. You would probably draw flowers however you like, and that is okay to be as creative as you can however to help you get started I'm going to draw some of these flowers and we can draw some together so let's draw for our first flower 
All I want you to draw for me is a circle. So draw a nice circle. Cool. And then we're going to put some petal shapes around. And you keep going around with that same shape. looks like a big daisy flower cool and then you can leave that as it is all right or you could put another circle in there you could pop uh put, put some little dots in we could draw some lines Very, very simple shapes. Okay, the next flower shape we're going to do, let's do another little circle. And this time I want you to change your petal so it has a little point at the top. And just like this one, you're going to go right around. That almost looks like bunny's ears. You think of a bunny ear shape? Cool. Oh, heaps of you are really awesome. Okay, thanks guys. You're keeping up really, really well. Some nice pointy shapes. And then we've got another flower there. Let's do a different type of um, centre. You could do a spiral. I've done that a bit big. And then we could, what could we do with that one? Those are my spirals. Then we can make that kind of isn't just a petal. Kind of looks like an egg. A swirly, swirly egg around. Do something like that. And one, should we do two more? Another one I like to do little ones. I like to do my circle. And then put circles around the outside. And you can do them as big or as small as you like. And then sometimes I like to do little clusters or groups of those little flowers together. Okay. Uh, another one we could just do, we could do this petal shape. going around in a circle and then we can put petals inside the petals cool how are we going with our flowers we got some ideas Let me know how you're going. Once we've done that, we're going to start on our good copy. We're done, we're done. I'll wait for you guys to let me know if you're done. Just practicing. Maybe if you've got three different flower shapes, that would be really, really good.
So we've just drawn the flamingo. For those of you who have jumped on, we've done our flamingo. You're liking, so that means we're done, yeah? Excellent. Right, flamingo is done. Flowers are done. We've practiced. Doesn't need to be perfect. Now, we're going to let the magic begin, yeah? Coolio. So, this is where we are going. We are going to draw a flamingo. You can make your flamingo look however you want, or you can copy mine. Okay, it's totally up to you. Then, we're going to do our background with our flowers around the outside, and then we're going to colour it in. Okay, so are we ready? We're ready, we're ready. Okay, I'm just going to change a sheet of paper. If you've got another sheet of paper at home, um, Erin, uh, the flower download resource, I would need to email that to you. But I can't do it at the moment. If you just if you just private message me your email address and I can get someone to click it through for you, that would probably work best. Yeah, just um, just private message me, Erin, and I'll get my husband to send it through to you in a second. All right, we've got a sheet of paper up. Where's my mark pen? Okay, we're going to draw our flamingo. So, I'm not going to draw it exactly how I drew it before because I can't rub some of the lines out. So, first thing we're going to start with is our head. And then a little bit that comes down. Like so. Should we bring the camera forward again? Cool, thanks Erin. Coolio. Awesome. Alright. We've got that little shape drawn up. So you leave the, uh, draw a little half circle with a little bit. Then we're going to draw a little beak. Or a big beak, whatever you want. Coming off the head. Cool. All right, let's bring the neck about there. So it's kind of a line, that double line that's on an angle. Then I want you to bring this up and give your flamingo a big booty. Pull it around. And then like that. How are we going? Good. All right. Then we can pull this line up. Remember those feather shapes that we were practicing on the other one? And bring some of those shapes up. And then I just want you to pop another feather down the bottom like that. Right, how are we going? Dun, 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 dun. 
Okay, then let's put on the legs of the flamingo. So remember we kind of find the halfway bit and then we come over a bit. I'm going to draw a nice long leg. Another line to the outside. And then one, two, three for the feet coming off the bottom. Uh, hi guys from Brisbane for joining us. Awesome. Okay, then we're going to put another leg. Kind of goes on an angle because the flamingo is standing up on one leg. Cool. Got the basic shape. Then we can draw, we can draw an eye, colour it in. Remember we leave a little white dot. Cool, we're done, we're done. You guys are awesome. Now it's up to you what you want to do to your flamingo. So there are options where some of the options are you can add a nice hat or sort of like a, um, a jewelry piece on your flamingo. You can add lots and lots of feathers. You might even like to add a nice flower at the front. You could add um, some stripes or some dots on the, on the legs so it looks like um, stockings. I'm going to draw a flower shape here. For mine. And then I'm going to draw some leaves that go out as well. Leaves, sorry, feathers. Feather shapes, aren't they? One, two, three. So these are kind of look like the veins of the feathers. Some different patterns. You could add some circles. that um what else can we do in here we could do some more little circle dots in there let me know if i'm going too fast is everyone keeping up all right if i'm if you if it's all right just give me a, a like so i know that you're okay because last time i went way too fast Let me know how you're going. So you should have your flamingo. We're going good? Cool. All right. I'm going to pop a little um, headpiece on my flamingo up the top. I'm going to do a little thing so it looks like it's coming on. Awesome. Thanks, guys. You guys are great. We're keeping up. Yeah, yeah. I'm looking forward to seeing your work. We're going to have some really cool flamingos, aren't we? Do a little headpiece. Yes, and we can draw like a little, kind of looks like a flower, kind of like a bow shape at the top. And I don't know why, but I'm liking dots today, so I'm going to do some more little dots. On the head, so go and add something, some sort of headpiece to your flamingo. Tauranga, hello Anna. Welcome New Zealanders, lots of New Zealand people on today. drink. 
pieces. All right, we good, we good, we good. Okay, let's add some cool, I am gonna do some lines, so it looks like there's some cool funky colored stockings on my flamingo, which we're gonna color in in just a minute. And see when I'm going, see how the flamingo's leg, let's move this in for you, eh? Let's see how this flamingo's leg is curved. Bring my lines the other way. I'm doing my lines on an angle. But this one is straight. I'm going to do the lines horizontal. All going the same way. Cool. Uh, what else can we do? Let's add some lines to the beak. To make that look like it's rounded. I feel like I might just add a little bit more. So that's our flamingo. Now we're going to add some flowers to our piece. I'm going to draw a horizon line that goes right along here. A straight line. Make sure that it is above, above where the foot of your flamingo is. Because it's like it's standing on something. Let's just show me that over there. Oh, there's my head. Cool. So we've got our flamingo. Now we've got our flamingo standing on the ground. So now it's up to you where you want to put your flowers around the outside. I'm going to do some nice big ones today. So I'm going to draw something down the bottom here so I'm going to draw a circle like I showed you before and then I'm going to put some petals over and I'm actually just going to put a little stem on that flower so it looks like it's coming out of the grass then I might do another little one over here. Looks like that one goes behind. Some lines. Cool. And then I might add this kind of curly shape. So it looks like there's some um, kind of like flax going around out of the grass. Right, let's draw a nice big one up here. I'm going to do a, it's kind of like an eggy shape with some dots. And then I'm going to put a point on the end of my petal. So you can match all of the different petal shapes with the different flower center shapes as well. And uh, what should we do? We'll do another little one underneath it. And let's go over here and do, I'm going to do some of those smaller ones that I like. I've got my little circle, and then I'm going to put some circles around the circle shape. Just do one down here. Now you can fill in your page. You can put as many flower shapes as you want around your page or as few as you want as well. I'm going to do a big one that comes out here. And then I might just do some little... 
almost looks like a lollipop. There's some lollipops going around it. Okay. Now you can do all of your flowers the same. You don't have to do different ones. How are we going with our flowers? Going good? While you're doing that, I'm going to talk to you about how we're going to colour these in. So there are a couple of things we can do. If you want, and I'm going to use some of them, if you want to use some watercolours to colour it in, you can do that. Okay, so I've got some watercolour palettes here. The thing that we need to know though, is when we're adding water to these, because we've used markers on here, sometimes if we put too much water on, it's going to make some of that, that um, the marker or the texture that you've used run. If you've drawn on with pencil, or if you've drawn on with crayons or pastels, that's going to be okay because that is not going to run because oil and water don't mix. Okay. The other thing that you can do is you can use um, I've got a set of you can use some color pencils or textures or crayons and color in. So my example over here, let's just show me this one here. It has a whole lot of watercolors around the back um, the background. But I've colored my flamingo in with color pencil, okay, because it gives me better control as well. So I'm actually going to start colouring mine in. You can colour yours in with me, the same colours if you want, or you can add whatever colours you have. If you don't want to colour your flamingo in, that is okay as well. You can leave it black and white. I'm going to pick a purple, and I'm going to make a start, and I'm going to start colouring in some of my little flower that I put on top of my flamingo's hat there. That's purple. I'm going to get a nice, I'm actually going to use a hot pink today. So I'm going to use the hot pink to colour in my pink flamingo. The good thing about when you've drawn on with markers is you can colour in with colour pencils and it won't go over the marker. And I'm just going to colour the pink body only down to where the flower is at the bottom. Alright, uh, let's grab some greens. And I'm going to start to colour in some of my petals. So I'm going to leave the white shape coming through, because I quite like that showing. Like that. So you can just colour in your one in whatever colours that you want. Use anything that you've got. If you're still drawing, that's okay as well, guys. I'm going super, super quick for you, all right? So I can show you some ideas. But you can take this away and finish it off. And then once you've finished it, you can share it with me. So I'd love to see what you've done. How are our works looking at the moment? Are we happy with what we've drawn?
We're going good. Excellent. Ashveen's going good. What else do we do? Let's go on some of this. Some greens. I need to get me some oil pastels. Going good, good. We've got some lights coming through. Excellent. Thanks, guys. Thank you for letting me know you're doing that. It's hard because I can't see what you're doing. We might have to do a Zoom call, might be better. Colouring it in. Cool. Right. Okay. Excellent, excellent. Yes, everyone's doing well. Awesome. Yay, yay, yay. I'm kind of a bit stuck at what to do in there. I might put some pink in there. Let's, go. Let's put some pink in, shall we? Actually, that pink's not working very well. Don't like that one. Yay, yay, yay. Oh, that's a nice pink. Cool, cool, cool. So you guys can carry on colouring in. You can watch me if you want. You don't have to. I know you're probably all concentrating on your own work, which is awesome. But I'm going to stay on here and I'm going to colour this in and finish it for you. I want you to get some ideas. If you have any questions, you can ask me as well, all right? So I can let you know and help you out. You can share your work with me. Once you've finished your work, before you go, if you haven't already, once you finish your work, make sure you share it in the comments of this post, okay? Don't private message it to me. Share it in the post so everyone can see what you've done. This is really, really important that we, um, we work together and show each other, right? Because there's lots of people here from Australia and New Zealand drawing and creating together, which is awesome. Look at that yummy pink there. Getting a really, is anyone else getting a really sore hand from coloring in? <laughs> As I am, coloring in like that on an angle. Uh, pinky pinks, pinks, pinks. Me think more pink. Yeah, more pink. Right, so he's going to colour in the body. And then I think I want to um, start to colour in some of my background. some pink up here and then sometimes it's really good see I've got all these colors here if you try and use the same colors or a combination of colors if you put every color on the rainbow um, in the rainbow on your work sometimes it doesn't look um, like one cohesive body of work all right so one picture so try and like I don't know Six colors is good, or different types of the same color. So these are all different greens, different shades of greens. And I'm using all different shades of pink. Okay, so it's going to make it look like it's one really nice picture that fits together. Cool. Now I'm going to start to color in some of my flowers. And I'm bringing some of these colors to my flowers as well. So you'll see how it looks like a nice picture when it's all sort of the same color. This is not usually how fast I color in, but we're working super, super duper fast to show you. That's quite a nice lime green, that one. Uh, let's 
lips, but a nice purpley pink here. Pencils are running out. Coolio. Uh, let's put some green on our leaves. I'm going too fast. That's all right. You're just coloring yours in at the moment. Okay, you can color them whatever colors you want. I'll post my picture in the comments below. Okay, you don't need to go as fast as me. You probably won't get it while I'm doing it. You can keep going after we've finished, okay? I need a pencil sharpener. Okay, alrighty, what should we do over here? That nice lime color. Which light color in there? Has anyone got anything to ask me about what I'm coloring in or some tips? You can let me know. Just gonna get a pencil sharpener. How are we going guys? I'm just getting a pencil sharpener. Sharpen some stuff. So I've been colouring in way too much. Anybody want to share their work with me so I can see how we're going? Even if it's not finished, you can take a photo of it and post it below. Uh, that's much better when your pencils are sharpened, guys. Cool, that's way better. All right, let's get some other green. We need some music, don't we? Think about what colour do you think I should paint this background in? 
Not too sure about that at the moment. I think we need a nice bright flower down here. And then I'm going to do a slightly different pink shade over here and sharpen it a little bit. Cool. There's still lots of you that are focusing and working on your work, which is so awesome. Glad to see heaps of you here. Someone was laughing at me. I don't know why. I'd laugh at me too, though. It's probably my comment about um, big purple. Yeah, I love purple. Where is my purple? I need to put, you're right, actually, I need to get that purple up. You're right, Amelia. I need to find my purple again, bring that back in. Oh, there it is. It's over there. Maybe I should put some purple on the stockings on the flamingo. Right, find my purple. Miss Amelia is right. Right, let's go. Purple stockings. I'm leaving that little line. I think a nice green and purple stockings will be cool. Oh, that one in. Actually, I'm going to colour, do it the reverse on the other side. So the purple bits I'm going to colour in on the lines. Okay, and then we're going to find our green. And let's go, big bit can be green on one leg. And then green on the other side. So if you see in this picture, I've used pinks, greens, and purples, but all different shades or tones of those ones. So everything's starting to work together. Uh, let's see. What happened to that flower got missed? And I need to finish off those little petals that got missed as well. And then I think that pretty much is it. Let's pop in some purple in the flower here. And then feet. Might do the feet pink as well. It's just a light pink like the body was. Same as the body. So then it looks like it's the skin. So you can tell that the flamingo has some stockings on. Stockings that just go to the ankles. Okay, now it's time to colour with some watercolours, which is fun times. So I've got my watercolour palette here. I'm just going to grab a brush. Okay, and I'm going to wet my brush, and I think I'm going to pop, I'm going to paint down here first, and I'm just going to put that other way, pop it on my palette, and rub it and rub it in to get some nice paint on there. You don't want, if you put lots and lots of water in, that's okay, but it's going to make your paint really watery and not as strong so if you want the color to be stronger try and load your brush up with more paint than water okay then i'm going to come in i'm going to start to color in the 
grass. So see, I tried to get a nice, another shade of nice green to match the ones that we used there with our color pencils. Now, remember what I said before about um, the marker pens? See how when I touch that with water, it starts to bleed. That will happen. So we try not to touch it too much. We try to put more paint on than water. Too much water is going to make it bleed. So kind of try not to touch it if you can. It's a little bit tricky though. But we can. Yes, you can. You don't have to use watercolors or paints on this one. This is actually quite a really good one just to color in with um, felts or textures, color pencils, or um, what else have you got? Crayons, marker pens. For those of you who are in New Zealand, when I say textures, I mean felts. It's exactly the same thing. All right, in Australia, they call felts textures. So I try to say both. I had no idea what the kids were talking about when I came here and they started talking about textures. Now I know. Okay, so some nice grass with a greeny bit there. I'm just going to colour in that. All right, background. See this one here, I've got a combination of colors. I've got some nice sort of oranges and pinks. I think I wanna keep some really nice pinks over here, but I'm gonna probably use some pinks and some nice bright pinks. Yes, that's way too much water. I don't want that much water because it's going to run. Oops. Some nice pink. Get my finger in there and catch that. So loading up my brush, I've got this really, really nice sort of hot pink, fluorescent pink. There it is. I'm so impressed with how many of you are still here drawing and painting along with me. This is awesome, guys. I hope you like my flamingo. I bet your ones look great. I'm really, really looking forward to seeing them after this. See, I'm just trying to not kind of touch that marker at the moment because it's just going to cause me too many issues. After this, I'm going to post this video so you can come back on and you can um, you can rewatch it, you can pause it, you can fast forward it to bits where I'm not blabbing and bits where you can just see me painting and find out what you need. Yes, my add some dark pink too, all right? Remember we're using just a couple of colors but different tones of the colors. So it makes our picture look like one big picture and not just a whole lot of colors. It means we've thought about what we're doing. Shows your clever. These brushes are really good because they've got this little point on the top so then you can kind of like get in between where the flowers are. This is called speed painting. Set this in one. Cool, thanks guys. Thanks Anushka. I'll see you tomorrow. Excellent. We're 
doing dinosaurs tomorrow. I'm going to show you once I finish this what we're going to be doing tomorrow. So I'll probably be two more minutes, guys, and then we can wrap it up and have a look at what we're doing tomorrow. Same time. So if you're in, I'm in Melbourne. If you're in Melbourne, it's 10 a.m. Mm -hmm. If you're in New Zealand, it's 12 p.m. If you're in Perth, it's 7 a.m., which is super duper early, so you might just want to watch the replay. And I don't know the time zones in the other states, sorry. Those are the ones I know. Because people have been asking me what time. <laughs> The more flowers you do in the background, <laughs> the more we have to color around the outside. Thank you, Roxanne. Oops, that one's gonna run a bit. That's okay. I can go back along and fix that. it looking just color around the outside here make some more darker there and get some more of that hot pink in there that hot light hot pink load up my brush that's better We are nearly there. Let's finish around the outside, down the side here of the flex, and then some in the middle. Water. <laughs> Thank you, Amelia. You probably don't want to get close up because there's lots of <laughs> lots of runny bits on it. I wouldn't usually do it this fast. Okay. There you have it, guys. Are we done? Are we done? I'm kind of done. I'll probably go back and tidy it up a little bit later on. Let's just take it off so that I can talk to you and show you. Oops. All right, so there we have, let's see if it comes, there we have our funky flamingo drawing. So, um, probably haven't finished yours, which is good. All right, so take your time. Have a break if you need to, but when you have finished it, I would love for you to share it with me. So if you can get your mum or dad to take a photo and post it in the comments below on this video, okay? I'm going to upload this video to the page. Please don't um, private message it to me if you can avoid that, because I'd just like it to be in the comments under the video so all the other kids can see what everyone's doing. So that's our funky flamingo. Thank you for the wonderful kids who stayed right to the end. You're super duper diligent. I love that. Um, but before I go, tomorrow what we're going to be doing is dynamic and dinosaurs. So for all you dinosaur lovers out there, I am going to show you how to do something like this. So we're going to learn how to draw different dinosaur shapes 
you probably know the names of the dinosaurs more than I do, which is good. We've got this one here. Like, there's a Stegosaurus, maybe. T Rex. And I can't remember the name of this one, so you're going to have to let me know. If you want the drawing guides, I've got all of these pictures in a drawing guide, and you want to practice drawing them before we start tomorrow. Um, go on to our website and email us or just email me through this page and I will send you the free drawing guide so you can get practiced, all right? But thank you so much for staying with me today. I look forward to seeing your flamingos and I will see you tomorrow, 10 a.m. for Dynamic Dinosaurs, all right, guys? Have a great day.